Hello friends, in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to create email address policy in Exchange 2016. For emails to be sent and received by a recipients, email address is required. Email address is made of uh, local part at symbol and then SMTP domain name. For example, we have an email address named administrator at mylab.local where administrator is the local part that identifies the user and add symbol and then mylab.local is our SMTP domain name. Email address policy creates one of more email addresses for the mailboxes. When we install action 2016, a default email address policy is created by default. And let's see what is the default email address policy. On Exchange Admin Center, click on Mail Flow. On a Mail Flow, you can see email address policies is there. And this is the default email address policy in our organization. Click on Edit. Click on Email Address Format. Here's the format. Click on Edit button. And as you can see, the format is there. Now, the default email address policy defines email address that consists of user alias and the forest root domain name. So, we want to create a new email address policy. But before you create a new email address policy in Exchange 2016, the associated SMTP domain name must be configured as an accepted domain name. And in a previous video, we just created one new accepted domain name mylab.video. Now let's click on email address policy and let's create a new policy for our mylab.video domain. Let's specify the policy name mylab.video. Click on plus sign to add email address and let's select the accepted domain is mylab.video. Now we want to use the first name dot last name at domain name email address format for our mailboxes. Now here you can click on more options that you can specify the custom address type or email address parameters. But we want to go with this first name dot last name at our accepted domain name. Click on save. Now here that's the most important part is there. This is the uh, policy sequence means uh, you can say simply say this is the priority which we can set and as you can see the by default priority is one that means this default policy has a lower priority and this policy has a higher priority than the default policy. Now specify these types of recipient this email address policy will be applied. I want to select only the following recipients users with exchange mailbox then uh, resource mailbox and then I want to use mail enable group. But these policies will apply on all mailboxes on our exchange and that I don't want. So click on add rules because under active directory these are the our user but for this demonstration purpose already I created one OU and here we have a total four users. We want to assign this email address policy only for these users. Okay so let's come back on our exchange admin center and select the recipients containers and this time we want to use mylab.video container only that means this policy will be applied only and only on our users from mylab.local domain click on save and as you can see the warning is that this policy isn't activate click on apply in the detail pane to apply this email address policy click on ok and that's it now status is unapplied click on apply click on yes and as you can see the email address policy was applied successfully. Click on close. Now let's come back on our recipients. Click on refresh. All the recipients email addresses are look like the same which we have at the starting point of this video. Now let's create a new user mailbox. Let's uh, specify the alias Chris and let's select the existing user name Chris KL. Let's specify the mailbox database. And let's select MDB01, click on OK, click on Save, and that's it. As you can see, the email address of newly created user mailbox is chris.gale at mylab.video. So this is the first name dot last name at mylab.video. This is the our accepted domain. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.